Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Mustang Mach-E. Uh, order banks are open up right now, and we're going to be covering uh, just some information about the select trim level of what's standard and what's optional for that. So if you want to place that order with your Model e, uh, local Model E dealer, you'll know exactly what's going to be included and what options you could select to put on your vehicle as well. And we'll even kind of clue you in on whether or not you should leave some of those things off or not in this video too. And so order banks are open up right now, but you cannot order online. Uh, to order, you have to go through your local dealer. So ordering online will be available We sometime in 2024. They did say first quarter, so it could be a couple months. Um, and only a couple different trim levels available for this launch uh, for right now. So if you want to get those in, the select premium are the first two. We're going to be covering both of those in this video, just to select trim. So if you like videos like this, want to stay updated on information, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell as well so you don't miss any videos. And we are taking orders for the Mach-E. Uh, $1,000 below MSRP is our pricing. And we have a YouTube special if you want to learn about that. So if you live a little ways away, you can still get one from us if you'd like to. We can ship it to you and include some free shipping. Uh, well, more information about how that all works is going to be in the description uh, or at the end. There's timestamps down below in the description as well for different parts of this video. So you can move around, get the information you're looking for in this video. So let's dive in uh, and first cover this. Now, we are going to use Ford's build and price, kind of. We're going to use it as a reference because there aren't a lot of differences between last year and this year. So we're going to use Ford's website to kind of go over this. So let's jump in here. So for this here, uh, we're going to first, uh, of course, it's going to kind of show you a little, little bit of what this looks like uh, on Ford's website. So homepage right now actually does have the Mach-E right here as well as the Lightning. So um, so you can kind of search some inventory. And so their Ford's goal is to get some inventory on dealer lot. So there is some inventory there. Um, what you won't find is 24 model years. So let's go to vehicles, go to uh, Electrified, go to Mach-E. And uh, you're going to see the 23 model year information, but nothing about 24 yet. So we're going to use 23's building price. Now, we do have building price for 24 model year on our website, uh, but no images. So we're, that's why I'm going to use this uh, as reference. But if you're wanting to know the breakdown exactly how much it is, uh, because it is about $500 more on the select uh, than it was last year. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, available on rear-wheel drive. We'll talk about options in a second, but one of the options is all-wheel drive. As well as for this year, you can get extended range. That's a that's a big deal for this year. Uh, basically, did it with California Route 1. So allowing extended range all-wheel drive kind of gives you that Route 1 if you wanted that. Um, so it is about $500 more, as I mentioned. The rear-wheel drive will be uh, $43,495, and the all-wheel drive will be $46,495. Four ninety five. So that's the pricing breakdown for each one of those. So we're going to select that. We're going to start and go into here. Now let's talk about some of the different um, powertrain options and such and the different mechanical features uh, that I like to cover in these videos. Now, first off, the battery. This is going to have the same as it did for the 23 model year job two battery. That is that that LFP battery that's uh, less susceptible to the cold. Um, it's going to get, it's going to be able to allow you to charge a little bit faster at home. So it actually has faster, uh, like 0.5 kilowatt, um, hour of faster charging at home on, on the, uh, 48 amp chargers. So if you have that installed in your house, you'll notice it fast, uh, charge a little bit faster. It can also charge up to to hundred percent more often, <coughs> excuse me, more often uh, with that battery too. It's a little bigger as well. So it's going to be a 72 kilowatt usable capacity, standard range, high voltage battery. So there you go. Uh, again, a standard uh, rear wheel drive with the primary electric single motor in the back. Um, and then also single speed transmission as well. Uh, so three selectable drive modes. You have an engage, you have a whisper and an unbridled. Um, one pedal driving, of course, with this, like we did see last year with an eco coach. If you have that engage mode enabled there, so you have an eco coach as well. Regenerative braking to help re, uh, generate back as much power as possible uh, into that battery. Uh, transmission oil cooler, front and rear stabilizer bar as well to give you a great ride. You do have electronic power assist steering. And what that's going to do is, you know, when the, you're going on the highway, it's not going to push you from side to side as much. But when you're in slower speeds, since it's electric, it's a lot easier to steer on that steering wheel there. Uh, electronic stability control. We also have electronic traction control as well. 
Um, and then an electric parking brake includes an auto hold. That's kind of where that the one pedal drive comes in handy and allows you to be able to do that. So um, charging capacity, you will have the dual the the port for you to be able to charge that J1772 CCS. So you can flip that down and be able to charge on those DC fast charging as well as with 120 volt or 240 volt um, outlets as well. AC charging is uh, up to 11 kilowatt with a 48 amp capability. DC fast charging up to 150 kilowatt capacity or capability, I should say. And then you don't forget, you'll have the LED charge status indicator on the charge port with a courtesy illumination. Don't forget when you're unplugging those chargers, make sure you hit that button to release that can disconnect that charge going to the vehicle. Uh, don't forget you will have the charge network, the blue oval charge network uh, with that new charge assist inside the vehicle uh, on the screen. And uh, what's great is you can use through the Ford Pass app. You can be able to see all the different chargers and manage and start initiate your charging right through the app, which is really cool. I think they're up to like six or eight different charge networks that's in there that you can just initiate from the app. You don't have to download their app, which is great. So, um, all right. Now, let's talk about some safety features. I don't have a lot of images for this. For safety, we do have advanced track. So uh, you're going to have that. It's going to be included with the vehicle. Uh, you do also have SOS post crash alert system that's going to honk the horns, flash the lights if you're off the side of the road in an accident. Um, 911 assist as well. That'll come. Uh, that allow you to call 911 directly. Uh, if you don't have your phone close to you, if your phone's connected, you can do uh, be able to call them. Pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So that has pedestrian detection and it has a dynamic brake support as well and pedestrian detection or uh, the front collision uh, sensing as well. So if the car is going slower than you in front of you, it's going to alert you and let you know that pedestrian there as well. And if you don't have to brake, it's going to enable, the, it's going to initiate the brake as well with an uh, automatic emergency braking setup. Post-collision braking as well. So if maybe you're unconscious or forget to put it in park, you'll have that as well. Now, backing up, you will have the audible alert system uh, that alerts pedestrians as you're backing up. Since you are quiet, there's no motor, it's going to be quieter. So they want to alert, make sure people know that you're backing up. Advanced security package as well that includes security lock, passive, and a theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. Also, you do have the uh, in inclination intrusion sensors. So if that's going to raise that vehicle up, then it's going to alert, honk the horns, flash the lights and everything else. Um, and then also if somebody tries to intrude into the vehicle as well, when you have that vehicle locked up, you do get the lane keeping system that includes driver alert, the lane keeping alert and lane, keep lane keeping aid system. And so what this is going to do will help try to keep you in your lane. Uh, when you, even without you don't have that cruise set, you can have this activated. So going, you know, on city streets and everything else. So basically the alert system will do is allow you to leave your lane, but will vibrate the steering wheel if you leave your lane. The aid system will, once it gets over to those lines, wants to keep you and bring you back in those lines. Um, also, this will have uh, the intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering assist, speed sign recognition, all go hand in hand along with the Blue Cruise 1.2. So intelligent adaptive cruise control allows you to go a certain speed. If someone's going slower than you, it'll slow you down to go their speed, even bring you to complete stop in those situations. And then also keep you in the center of your lane, which is where that blue cruise can come in handy. Also sees the speed sign recognition. So if that speed sign changes, it'll allow you to change your cruise without having you make any adjustments yourself. And the blue cruise, of course, allows you to go hands-free driving. So completely hands-free, which is really nice, allow you to use that. The 1.2 does have in-lane reposition. So to reposition that if that big car is beside you as well as lane change assist. So it allows you to change the lane just by putting your blinker on. So pretty cool. Also, you get evasive steering assist that if you can't stop in time to hit the vehicle in front of you, you need to avoid them. It'll assist in the steering of that, making it easier. And intersection assist. So if you're going to come across that intersection and there's a car coming, you maybe don't pay it, can't see them because there's two lanes. Maybe the left one is stopped, but there's a car behind them and you can't see them. It'll see that, stop the vehicle so you don't go into the intersection and you have that collision. And then 360 degree camera with the split view uh, for you on the screen and you do get a front washer as well. So uh, three, uh, be able to see completely around you. Camera on the front, back, under each mirror, which is really great. So the salt, we're talking select here. <laughs> um, sometimes I, I, I watch and go over this on the Mach-E and go, man, the, even the, the very standard, the standard base trim, 
of the Maki has so many features that are optional and allow you, and you have to go up to upper trims to get them all included in this. Now let's talk about some, uh, go back to this and go to the exterior features here. And we'll try to use this here uh, the best we can. All right. Let me go to the front view. There we go. Front view up here, we do have the active grill shutters. It's going to open and close when it needs to. You'll kind of see those down there, allow for airflow in to help cool off the batteries and the motors in there. Also, you have the front grill uh, applique. Uh, it's going to be a black molded in around the outside right there, body colored in the inserts, and then that Mustang will be molded in black. We do have, for your headlights, automatic headlights. Uh, they'll come on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light when you have an auto setting. Uh, LED projector headlights with signature lighting this year. That is different. That's a new upgrade. Last year it was LED refre reflector. No mention of signature lighting. This year we get signature lighting with LED uh, projector headlights, which is great. Wiper activated headlights, which means if your wipers are on, the headlights will be on. Also configurable daytime running lights. Uh, probably use those signature lighting as those lights. Auto high beams as well. Uh, come on, it's kind of like your automatic headlight. So if it's dark enough outside, it'll turn the high beams on. Someone approaches you or in the city lights, it'll turn them off. So those auto high beams can be activated and deactivated on your lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. Now the front fascia up here is going to be body colored. You can see right up there uh, on the upper part, uh, molded in black down in here, as you can see. Uh, on that part and then body colored inserts right there as you can see there we do have front sensing system kind of see those little uh, little sensors right there in fact you have perimeter sensing so they're on the side as well as the back so you can as you're pulling into parking spaces even around you you're going to get alerted if you get too close to anything the windshield is a laminated windshield two pieces of glass with plastic in between uh, makes it quieter, but the main benefit of that is that if something hits your windshield, it keeps it, adheres it, so it doesn't shatter and injure the person inside, but tries to keep that together um, until you can go in and, and get taken care of there. A windshield wiper de-icer as well, so that means it'll keep those windshield wipers kind of defrosted for you. So if in that situation where it's cold enough where your windshield's defrosting, the windshield just fine, those wipers tend to freeze up on you a little bit, and this will help with that. Rain sensing wipers as well. So when you have it in one of those intermittent settings and you have this activated, it's going to turn those wipers on when it needs to and goes faster when it needs to. We do have the in here the, the front trunk area. People like to call it the frunk uh, with a drainable uh, plug in there so it can drain. Um, put things in there, store things in there. You can put ice and beverages in there, right, if you're somewhere and you need, uh, need those in there. Now, move around to the side. There we go side of the vehicle uh for this year and this different wheel than last year so disregard that we do have a 19 inch machine face and aluminum wheel with high gloss black painted pockets so they upgraded from an 18 to a 19 inch wheel for this year on this uh we do have a wheel center cap as well that's going to be the black painted with the pony graphic on it um, and then the tires are going to be a 225 55 r19 xl 103 h all season tire. So I think that H is, is set up and made for EVs. Uh, individual tire pressure monitoring system as well for those. And four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well on there. And don't forget those regenerative braking system as well. Um, front and rear wheel lip moldings are going to be molded in black. So that means the color is put in the mold when it's made. So it's more durable. Uh, you won't worry about chips and everything to those. You also see that same material on the bottom rocker moldings uh, panels down here as well. Um, the mirrors are going to be a uh, black mirror cap, a painted mirror cap. We do have, don't forget, the 360, uh, the cameras underneath there. We also do get the power and heated mirror feature. Manual fold for those mirrors, manual fold towards the glass. LED signature lighting as well on the outside of those. So people know you want to uh, turn in the pony projector headlights or, or not headlights, per, um, side view mirrors, puddle lamps with the pony on there. So pretty cool. That looks that looks really cool when it's coming up. Now we do have the bliss with cross traffic alert on those side mirrors. So when there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know if there's someone in there and it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It uses a light in that mirror as well as a message on the productivity screen you need that, that, that warns you, series of tones, so that you don't back up into them. Uh, we do have four-door intelligent access, which means you just put the key fob in your pocket. You walk up, and then you can press. It does have a button to open those, so uh, e-latch with those buttons. 
uh, to open those doors and it pops those doors open for you. Do have on the front doors, you do have little grab handles as well for those uh, doors up there. Security lock pass uh, keypad entry. So you're going to have that on there. Just swipe. You'll be able to see it. It's illuminated. So then you can put your code in to get in and out if you need to uh, that way. Uh, but shouldn't need to because you do get uh, the phone as a key. So you can be able to program your phone as a key if you want to. And uh, that's pretty cool because you can walk away and it locks the door for you and everything. So my son loves that feature. All right. Um, let's see what else. Um, we do have front and rear door cladding. Um, so you can see it does have the Maki. Here's the door for the charging port uh, right there as well. Uh, we do also have uh, rear uh, child safety locks on these doors. So the kids that can't get those open if they don't want to, if you have that locked out on those. So rear of the vehicle. A better rear one. Oh, here we go. Use this one here. Kind of. All right. On the back, we do have a, a rear spoiler that is black painted up here. We do have a center home on a stoplight as well. You do have a wiper here uh, with a washer, I believe. Yep. Um, and rear defrost back here as well. And LED um, turn signal or LED stoplights in the back or tail lights, I should say, with sequential turn signals like you would see with the Mustang. So a lot of people like that. And rear fascia back here is body colored upper with a black lower. So down here will be black, but body colored up in here. Reflectors as well right there. You'll see those on the side too. Um, we do also have a rear sensors in the back, as we mentioned. Sensors all around. So you have them back here uh, as well. A rear view camera. So as you're backing up, you'll be able to see uh, behind you just fine. Reverse brake assist as well. Like your pre-collision assist as you're backing up, it's going to alert you if something's back there or someone's back there. And if you don't hit the brakes, uh, it will break for you eventually. So, um, and then you do have a manual lift gate, but please don't try that part out. <laughs> uh, manual lift gate, uh, so you can uh, open that up. Uh, cargo uh, tie down hooks inside, adjustable load floor, so you can adjust that in different heights. Um, and then, uh, so there you go. And then a tire inflator and sealant kit that's underneath there, so you can, uh, of course, no uh, spare tire in the back. Um, and then you do have a cargo area light and a power point back in the back cargo area. Now, this is usually where I would talk about the power cord, but it's no longer standard equipment. So we'll get into optional equipment in just a little bit. But do keep in mind, just note that a mobile power cord is not included. Um, so just so you want to make sure everybody is aware of that. So um, let's interior wise, we do have airbag system. Driver and front passenger has a dual stage airbag. Deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. Um, you're going to deploy those. You do have a driver knee airbag. Um, and then on the seat, on the go back to this, on the side of these seats, you will have a impact airbag. You have one for the front as well as the back, which is very rare. Most vehicles do not have a rear seat mounted side impact airbag. Um, but the Maki -E does. And so if you have that side collision, it's going to deploy that airbag to help protect from the side collision. And side curtain airbag with a rollover sensor that will deploy down to help protect from breaking glass coming into the vehicle and hurting everybody in that situation. Um, we do have a door front door scuff plates. They're black, molded in black, uh, molded in with the pony graphic on those. Uh, floor mats, you have carpeted front and rear floor mats. Um, center floor console with the, the um, um, armrest you can see there. So floor console goes through a uh, little bit different uh, armrest there, storage underneath as well uh, for there too. Your seats are going to be active X seating. Uh, a lot of people ask me, is that leather? Well, not really uh, leather, but it's a very easy, clean material, a uh, little bit better than a vinyl seat. Uh, it's kind of a, so, yeah, I like it. Um, my wife can't tell that it's a, the active X is not leather. We have it in our um, expedition and uh, we love it. Uh, works real, uh, real good. I have it in my Maverick as well. So, all right. Eight way power driver seat. So forward and back up and down power lumbar power recline four way manual front passenger seat. So there's a lever underneath so it can go forward and back. Also manual recline button as well. Right over here. Um, there you go right there. Um, we do also have a two-way manual adjustable head restraint, so it means it'll go up and down for you. Um, and then also in the back, second row, 60-40 split bench seat, so that seat can fold down, has an armrest as well. And that's this middle um, head restraint can go up and down. The two on the outside are fixed. Uh, latch system, lower anchors and chillers for children, so you can secure those front and rear-facing car seats into those rear seats. Um, and then behind the console, you do have air vents. 
So registers back behind those. Uh, also a USB port A and C as well. And uh, I think that's it for that. Um, for the power uh, windows and locks and such, we do have power windows, global open and close, which means if you're on the outside with the remote, you can actually open and close your windows using the remote. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, basically how you work that is if you want to open them up, uh, you would hit the unlock once and then press and hold the unlock for about five seconds and it will finally go down. Closing them same way you lock it and then press and hold that lock for about five seconds and they'll go up. Also for the windows on the, when you're on the inside and you're going along, one touch up and down feature for the front and rear, which means you don't have to hold them. So you just pull it till you feel a click and then they'll go up or down um, based on what you're doing. Uh, power locks with auto lock and auto unlock, which means as you start going, it's going to automatically lock the doors. You get inside, I think when you shut it off, it unlocks it, or you may have to open the driver's door, but it will unlock the other doors. Enhanced memory. Uh, so you can save features uh, on your uh, for driver display, radio, navigation, and driver assistance features uh, with the, the memory that it has. So that's pretty cool how that all works. So memorizes, uh, you know, some of the features that you program into that screen based on your key fob, which is really cool. Um, and then uh, we do have manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Just pull that lever underneath. It'll go up and down, forward and back. You lock it into place. Um, we also do have a soft vinyl um, wrapped steering wheel. Uh, we do have a 10.2 inch digital productivity screen. That's what you see through there. Very unique. You don't see this screen on any other vehicle but the Mach-E. Outside temperature control. Uh, on there, compass, uh, everything else. Push button start, you can see, is actually just a little bit to the right underneath that vent right there. Um, and then, uh, of course, you still have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start it, which is really cool. Um, we have dual zone climb control. Uh, you can control that on the screen there. We'll talk more about that in a second. So driver and front passenger have two, two different temperatures. AM, FM stereo with six speakers. Uh, also, MP3 player, Sirius XM with the 360L satellite radio. You get three years for free after that. You do have to sign up for a subscription. So you want to pay to get that service after three months. You do get the Sync 4A system. This is the portrait style Sync 4 system with the 15 and a half inch LCD screen. So this is standard on select. We're still on select here, folks. Um, so that's pretty cool. Phone, wireless phone connection, uh, cloud connected. You have wireless Apple, our Apple CarPlay or Android Auto that's wireless. Um, you have digital owner's manual. You have adaptive dash cards. That's these uh, things right here in the middle uh, that basically are your most, the, the last three things or four things that you used. So that way it's real easy to revisit those. So if you had something on there, maybe you're on, you maybe had your navigation up here and then you want to change the radio. So you brought the radio up. Well, that navigation is going to be down here. So you can just click on that and pull it right back up. So that's pretty cool. Um, we also have per, uh, uh, personal profiles. So your radio settings, your Sirius, your climate, wherever that was based on your uh, remote uh, is going to let gonna set those profiles back for you. Conversational voice commands uh, as well. Connected built-in navigation. Does say three years of service, which actually I'm surprised because they've gone to like a one-year service on a lot of them. Three-year service now. Uh, EV trip planner. Live traffic, predictive destinations, has that new charge assist, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, Ford Pass Connect as well. That allows you to stay connected to the Ford Pass app. Definitely want to make sure you uh, download the app, connect your vehicle in. Uh, once you've con you're connected in and everything, you're going to be able to, with that app, be able to remote start your vehicle from anywhere, unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times. Or those, if you want, if you're plugged in, uh, set those those times of when you're gonna. You want that to to warm up and everything, so you're ready to go and plan that thing. Also, you do also can locate your vehicle. Uh, you can see your tire pressure on there as well, and also in the app you can see where your range is at. So as well, and then you can power your trip through the app. You can also plug and charge, so that allows you through the app all those different chargers when you pull up to those to be able to charge and start charging easily with your credit card on there, which is really nice. And then, of course, I mentioned already, phone is a key. Now, up here in the mirror, you do have auto-dimming rearview mirror. Uh, so you don't have to worry about a lever to worry about. Uh, cars going to those behind those bright lights. I'm going to dim that mirror. Uh, overhead console with a sunglass and bin up here. Uh, really hard to see that because it's black up there. Uh, but it does have lights up there as well as a sunglass and bin up there. I uh, can't see it on the visor here, but you do have a universal garage door opener on the visor. And those visors do flip down with a vanity illuminated mirror on both sides for the driver and front passenger. Um, and then move down here. 
uh, media hub area is what I like to call this right down in here. Wireless charging pad right down there. You also have a type A and C charging port as well in there. Uh, you can see your cup holders right there. Rotor dial shifter knob, your electric parking brake uh, right there, and uh, all those controls. And then a nice um, a padded armrest right there. We talked about that earlier. Um, and uh, PowerPoint as well down in there somewhere. So there you go. All right. That's all the standard equipment here. Uh, so we've covered everything. Now that's all everything we've covered so far. That's all standard. Uh, that's nothing there is optional that we talked about. It's all standard equipment. Now let's talk about the different color options. And I need to grab my my display because this year we did lose a couple colors. Uh, and so they will be different than what we're seeing on here. So I want to make sure we got this correct. Yeah, here we go. So interior color first off. I want to talk about that. Uh, you have one color interior, the black onyx. That is the only color interior you get with the select trim. If you want a lighter interior, you will need to go to the premium trim. Uh, as we mentioned, ActiveX material as well in black onyx environment as well as the seats. Uh, now, next to your colors, go to paint, back to paint. Um, and let's cover some of these here. We do have Grabber Blue is available for this year. So beautiful uh, blue color here. Star White is available. It is a tri-coat, so it's $7.95 for that color. Uh, so there you go. Same price this year as it was last year. Rapid Red Tinted Clear Coat. That is $4.95 for that color. It is a clear coat, a tinted clear coat, so it costs a little extra. And uh, $4.95 this year as well. We do also have Shadow Black is available. There you go. We do have Vapor Blue. Let's see if we get this in right. Oh, it's, it's getting confused here. Vapor Blue. Come on. <laughs> not working great there you go vapor blue right there and then two new color carbonized gray is not available this year so this color right here is not available this year and space white those two colors are not available this year but instead we do have eruption green metallic which is beautiful a lot of people like that color and glacier gray metallic tricoat that is three coats of paint probably 7.95 as well for that paint color as uh too so just like with the star white so those are our color options for this year All right, so now what I want to do is talk about, um, normally I go into packages next, but I'm going to go and talk about, we're going to just work our way across here. So talk about the powertrain for a second. We mentioned standard is the um, rear-wheel drive here with the standard range battery. Uh, that is standard for you. You can uh, also go with the dual motor E all-wheel drive system if you want to, so it's an upgrade for that. As we mentioned, the price on that was about, what, three grand more if you go up for that all-wheel drive system. Uh, but if you want, uh, after you've gone all-wheel drive for this year, you won't see it on here. Um, so we're going to go up to that. So once you've gone to all-wheel drive, which is three grand more, for $6,000 more, if you want to go you, extended range, you can. That will not be the LFP battery, by the way, just so you know that. But you can upgrade to that one. That's going to be a 91 kilowatt uh, usable extended range battery for you. Again, requires to select all-wheel drive, e-all-wheel drive system. For that, but that is an option for this year that wasn't available last year. And again, that's a six thousand dollar upgrade from the all wheel drive, so that'll be a total of nine thousand from the rear wheel drive. So just keep that in mind if you want to go that route, you can, um, and that is available for you. So now let's talk about going on to packages. Uh, there are a couple different packages available for you, and I consider this one. I didn't think about that. All right, first one to talk about is the Comfort Package Light. Um, not sure. Let me actually have the prices here. I believe that's the same price for this year. Uh, actually, it might be a little less. Um, Comfort Package Light is fifteen hundred dollars this year, and uh, let's go in here because I think it's a little different this year for you. All right. So actually, that they did uh, upgrade that a little bit. Okay. So we do have the heated front row seats. Uh, so heated seats, driver and front passenger, heated steering wheel as well, and those will be included in your remote start settings so if you have that you know have it remote started uh or turned on or whatever and while you're plugged in and all that that will those will be included if you want as long as you have an auto setting uh and then you have driver memory as well so that's going to be the seat the driver's seat as well as the exterior side view mirrors so that's also going to be included with that too so those are uh three features right there as part of the comfort package uh light package there now we do have an interior protection package it's more expensive this year um that package is now 
395 because they moved some things around. So that package, um, there was something that was in that package that's now was from the comfort package, now moved to this package. And so it's more expensive. And so this package here will include, uh, get back down to it. Where is that at? Right here. Uh, cargo area cover uh, as well. Cargo area, it's not uh, showing in there. You're going to get the cargo area cover and you're going to get the uh, cargo floor liner, uh, front and rear floor liners, or the, the cargo liner, should say. They call it car cargo area protector here. They call it cargo floor liner now in the 24 model year order guide. And then first and second row floor liners. So if you basically want to protect this, uh, and that will do away with your carpeted floor mats. You want to protect the interior. So you're talking about the floor liners in the in, underneath or in the front and second row. Let me get my words right here. <laughs> the cargo area will also have a floor liner and cargo area protector. And cargo area protector will actually kind of show you so people can't see the cargo area, the cargo you have inside. So it kind of protects the cargo uh, back there. So that is part of that interior cargo protection. Um, and don't forget, does delete the standard floor mats. You will not have that. And then lastly, we talked about Blue Cruise. Uh, this actually has 1.3 in here. Blue Cruise 1.2 or 3. It doesn't actually say that in the order guide, which it is. Uh, the 1.3, the difference between 1.2 and 1.3 is on those curves. It has predictive speed assist. So when you go to those curves where normally you'd have to take over the steering wheel, to allow you to so you don't have to take over the steering wheel, it actually slows you down to handle those curves. So that's part of the 1.3, which actually I haven't seen that roll out yet, but probably will for 24 model year. Um, but if you want three years of included service of the Blue Cruise instead of there's just the first three months, you would order this package for $2,100. You're basically prepaying for Blue Cruise. If you don't do that, you can try it out for three months. If you decide you like it, you can sign up for a yearly or monthly term at that point. Now let's talk about some extra interior features, and these may not be the same as last year, so I'm just going to go off my order guide on this. And um, some of these things you'll see don't have prices because um, they're included in different packages, right? All right. In fact, it's missing some things. So let's go ahead and start on this, go through this. Um, it is showing a different wheel. This wheel is not available for this year, uh, by the way, this arrow wheel. Uh, but we do have an optional wheel that is available, a 19-inch high-gloss black painted wheel. Uh, so this is a, an upgraded wheel. Uh, so it's kind of nice that you have another option here for us on this. So that is a different wheel. And, of course, have a tire that would go with or probably actually have the same tire as the standard wheel since it's standard is a 19-inch wheel as well. Um, and then also we do have an option if you want. You'll see this here is a silver, uh, shows a silver vehicle. If you want a black roof, you can order that as optional equipment. Uh, of course, not available with the shadow black paint. Makes sense because you'd already have a black roof. But if you want a black roof, uh, let me look and see what the price is. And by the way, those wheels, the optional wheel, um, uh, that optional wheel is $7.95, by the way. And then if you want the um, the black painted roof, it's $6.95 if you want to do that. So there you go. It's gonna uh, The price is for that. As well. Now, front license plate bracket. If you're in a state that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment. The dealer will still have to put it on when it comes in. But if you're in a state that doesn't require a front license plate, like Kansas, it's optional equipment. Uh, still no charge option, but you want to put, make sure you put it on there so the dealership installs it free of charge for you as well. Now, also, probably down here at the interior, um, actually, it probably was with this stuff up here charging yeah there you go five hundred dollars for the ford mobile power cord uh so you want to make sure if you want that power cord that you order that and you can switch that from 120 to 240 volts um of course i had a mobile uh that uh, power cord for my lightning and pretty much that's the only way that's how i charged my vehicle um you know i never installed my home charger that was powerful enough for my house and uh it worked so um for me um so that that's another thing right there to that you can get so all right now uh, those are the factory options that i've talked about so far there are a couple that are called what they called dealer installed option which means if you order it with your vehicle the dealership would install it uh, upon it coming getting to the dealership now and really a couple of these really they're not installing anything they're just placing it in your car for you and the first one is the roadside assistance kit uh 70 believe that's the same price as this year um, so you can kind of see what, what all is included in that. 
you can get this through Ford Accessories for about the same price um, as well. First aid kit, again, something get through Ford Accessories website, uh, but basically the dealership would put it in a nice bag for you and put it in your vehicle. And some dealers probably wouldn't even put it in the bag for you. They'd probably just leave it in the box that came in, to be honest. All right. And then moving down, we do have, is it in here? It's not showing. All right. We do have an exterior bumper protector uh, that you can get for the vehicle. Yeah, it's not shown in here. That's going to go on the bumper and help protect it from dropping things on it and such like that. So that there um, for price is $90 if you want that. And then you have a wheel lock kit. So that's going to give you one locking lug nut for each of the different wheels. And that's $70 if you want that. And the dealership would install that for you as well. So there you go. That's all of our options. Not a lot. Uh, you know, a lot of these vehicles just kind of come uh, the way they are. And um, so... And uh, there's a lot of great equipment on them already. And as we mentioned, pretty loaded up already as it, as it is. That's why, you know, you kind of look. I did in the video that I, I covered kind of the different overview of the for this model year and uh, and whether or not, you know, the is it is thirty five hundred dollars to go up to the premium ads worth it. I think some of them are if you like the look and you like some of the other comfort features and a nice audio sound system, it's probably worth it. But select comes pretty loaded. Uh, you know, you really could get one of those and, uh, and keep it under forty forty five thousand dollars uh, if you don't need that all wheel drive. Uh, not a bad choice there. So anyway, so that's all the information on that. Don't forget, order banks are open up right now, but you do have to go into your dealer right now to order. You're not able to order online. And again, go to our website if you want. We do have building price already set up on our website. It's not on Ford's website yet, so you can look around on that and see how you know everything looks uh here let me just uh let me pop this up here and just show you um just for reference uh i wasn't planning on doing that but uh real easy to get to go to ordering right there order your ford and then uh when you pull that up you can go to the maki there you go mustang maki 2024 so uh you can custom build it that way and uh, you can see right now select premium are available there's the updated pricing uh, oh, premium did not go up in price. I think I may have mentioned that wrong. Uh, but there you go. You go all-wheel drive. You can see what that price looks like, $26,495 uh, for that. So pretty cool. And then you can just kind of build it out. Based on this this year's order, you can see the new uh, colors. Eruption green, I don't know if it'll change colors. I don't think we have that set up yet. Uh, glacier gray as well. So you see the new color options right there. It even warns you that it go, that's more expensive. Um and then, you know, so it's very simple. You have your comfort package uh, there. You have your different, your optional wheels we mentioned. Um, of course, it doesn't change the look of the vehicle. It's just based on last year's uh, photos and everything. But at least it has an idea of what this stuff cost. Um, and uh, actually, I already see something we need to fix right here. So we did, as we mentioned, it was six ninety five to go to the, the steel, the black painted roof. Um, and is not showing that price increase here. Um, actually... Does it warn us? No, it does not. Anyway, sometimes they'll have it priced somewhere else. So anyway, so there you go. And then you can see the dealer installed options. So if you want to do that, you can kind of get an idea. And the power cord right there. Everything else, like I've already mentioned, is in there. Uh, they do have this removal on the order guide, but that's only if they're having issues with Blue Cruise. But that shouldn't happen. Uh, so yeah, so there you go. All right. I think that's about it. So. Uh, hopefully you guys did find some value in this video. If you did smash that like button, I really appreciate it. Don't forget, you can order with us if you want. We're $1,000 below MSRP. And if you uh, let us know about your, the YouTube special that I have for you guys, that is if you do finance with us, we'll pay for the first $1,000 of your shipping cost or travel expenses if you want this shipped to you or you come and get it. I will pay for flights and hotels on the way back uh, if you uh, want to do the travel expenses. Uh, otherwise, the first thousand dollars of shipping it to you, right to your door. In fact, a lot of people like that. Uh, Four ninety five is our only dealer fee, and we know a little bit about price protection, so we will honor the price what it was when you ordered the vehicle. Price increases, we will honor what it was from when you ordered the via the, the vehicle uh, at that time, and we'll also any locked in incentives. So if there's any special rate when you order the vehicle, I'm not sure what they are right now. I think mainly twenty three has special rates, not twenty four. Uh, but we'll lock in any incentives they are from when you ordered. Or if it's better when it comes in, you get to pick whichever's better between the two. Uh, so we know a little bit about that and make sure we honor that. We don't add anything to our vehicles um, unless you want it. 
uh, and then uh, you can get it. Uh, but that's not something that's not a practice we do here at Law MacArthur. So if you want to do that, make it a very simple, transparent and, and trustworthy experience. Go ahead and uh, give us a call or send us a text message. You can even go on the website and build it out. Put your information in, send that to us, and that starts that conversation. We know you want to order with us, and then we'll have one of our Model E salespeople get back to you and uh, get your order submitted. Very easy to do and very easy to accomplish that. Uh, there you go. I think that's all I have. And check back our live stream Tuesday night, 7 p.m., where we go over scheduling information. If you do get an order in, uh, what's scheduling each month, uh, each week? Hey, is Maki scheduling? I'll let you know that. Any constraints that maybe have happened? Maybe they're having issues with, you know, a certain um, option or something. We let you keep you updated on that. We go over recalls, dealer news updates, and we take your questions live. So if you have any questions, pop over. We can answer those live for you every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Central, right here on our YouTube channel. I think I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not. Hit the notification bell. And until the next video, stay positive. Be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself. And we'll see you in the next video.